What's going on guys, Asian Guy here bringing you my Hu Tao video, my very first impressions on her and of course a little bit of honest impressions sprinkled in there as well because what I have seen, the general consensus is that she is overpowered, busted and simply amazing because a lot of people have been able to do big damage showcases by using reactions and of course food buffs, spiral abyss buffs, refinements on their R5 weapons and of course you have the constellation 6 for Hu Tao which really changes everything and what I want to say is while that's very cool and all it's not a realistic representation for the average player so in this video we are going to be looking at what most players should have access to some people have staff of homer some people primordial jade wing spear we've got the death match for the people who use battle pass and of course if you are f2p only then prototype star glitter is going to be your go-to i will also be talking about the favonius lance lithic spear and why crescent pike and dragon spine spear is just terrible you know what i'm going to tell you right now physical damage is just a big no-no on hu tao physical damage is all the white damage that you do in any way shape or form if it's white damage it's physical damage and it's just not good on Hu Tao so please do not run that on Hu Tao so let's begin first things first I'm going to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the primordial jade wing spear which is going to be a crit rate spear versus the crit damage spear of staff of Homer what you're seeing on the screen right now is a direct side-by-side -side comparison now here you can see the staff of Homer is significantly significantly better and there's many reasons for this it's one, designed specifically for Hu Tao. The passive of Staff of Home means if you're under 50% HP, you get a phenomenal attack boost which scales off your HP. Hu Tao has the highest base HP in the game, as you guys know, and it's very easy to get over 30,000 HP with her if you are building her correctly with HP substats or HP main stats, depending on where you want to put your crit rate and crit damage as well. Alright guys, so this part of the video is going to be very important because I want to talk about the realistic application of Hu Tao depending on your spending. If you have Constellation 1 and you have Staff of Homer on Hu Tao, she is a ridiculously good, good, good character. However, if you don't have Constellation 1 and you don't have Staff of Homer, your Hu Tao is going to be significantly limited. As you saw there from the gameplay, Primordial Jade Wing Spear really did not keep up with Staff of Homer and only barely was able to finish off the Cryo Regis fine. Now if you take a remember, or you look back to some footage I put on the screen here, we've got some four star weapons here with Shao. Of course Shao is in his ultimate form, don't forget, this is Shao's base non-reaction damage at level 666 with actually worse artifacts than I had on Hu Tao as well. And they, they're they all comfortably able to kill the Cryo Regis fine. So in terms of non-reaction damage, Shao at talent level 666, Constellation 0 versus Hu Tao, Constellation 0, talent level 666 with the four star weapons, Shao definitely comes out on top. And of course, ahead of that is going to be Ganyu as well. On the flip side though, coming back to me on the webcam, hello there again, Hu Tao works really, really well with the likes of Sing Chu or Chong Yun. She has a very, very easy way of applying the Melt or the Vaporize, especially Vaporize with Sing Chu's ultimate. But again, we have to take a flip side look to that, is that your Sing Chu really does want to have a lot of energy recharge on him and most likely needs to have at least a Refinement 3, if not Refinement 4, and ideally, Yes, a Refinement 5 Sacrificial Sword on Sing Chu to give him the ultimate. And the reason why is that his elemental skill alone is not good enough to give the vaporized damage that you want. You want consistent vaporized damage, so you need to have his ultimate up all the time. So a lot of people just tell you, just pair Hu Tao up with Sing Chu. But it's not really as simple as that. As simple as that. You want to pair up with a good Sing Chu, with a good weapon, and that's where the damage will really shine. If you don't have a properly built Sing Chu and you don't have Sacrificial Sword, then you're not going to have as good or an exciting time with vaporized damage as other people will tell you so. Now, I want to give the benefit of the doubt to content creators because myself, I always forget, you know, not everyone has these Refinement 5 weapons. Not everyone has Constellations. Everyone has different Constellations. Everyone has different builds, but Noblesse is what you want to put on Sing Chu in this regard, or Noblesse plus two-piece Hydro. And of course, a lot of people probably haven't built up their support characters and rather focus on their main DPS characters. So that is the realistic approach that you have to be looking at if you are F2P, if you are low spending, if you do not have Staff of Homer, 
what you're seeing compared to other content creators, what you're seeing these big damage PP numbers, you're not going to be able to achieve those, especially without Constellations as well, because her Constellation 6 changes her into a completely different animal where you can get 100% crit rate, meaning you can have like 350% crit damage, meaning of course your numbers are going to be big because you don't have to worry about building crit rate. So if you look at these weapons right now, these are my stats with the prototype star glitter. If we take a look at that, that is kind of miserable. 1,202 attack, 72.6% crit rate, 129.6% crit damage. Not bad at all. We've got these artifacts on her, four piece crimson witch of flames. We've got zero constellation, talent level 666 as well. Now, if we switch this, Remember this, 31,800 to 1,200, and we put this onto the Staff of Homer. Do keep in mind, this is a level 80 Star Glitter, although it doesn't really make a massive difference. All I'm getting is a little bit more base attack. We switch this out, 2,000 attack, 34,910 HP. In fact, I actually have a level 80 Staff of Homer to do a better comparison there. So level 80 Staff of Homer, not even at level 6 ascension versus the star glitter let's take a look what that does 34,910 to 1,913 attack it's a massive 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 difference if we do the elemental skill for example Hu Tao now goes up to 3,680 attack with her elemental skill because her hp gets converted into attack power and then we switch over to the prototype star glitter 2,968. She just lost a huge, huge chunk of attack damage there, meaning a lot of her damage has just dropped there. So again, Staff of Home is something you really do want to have on her, which is unfortunate. Her Constellation 1, I will showcase to you guys why Constellation 1 is important. It will allow you to not consume stamina during her charge attacks. Now, most people will understand why that's amazing when you're looking at it. And the reason why is because if you're a boomer like myself or you're just bad at the game and you're not mechanically gifted like some others might be, she is not going to have a very, very good time. Let me just quickly put Bennett in here. Give her a little bit more oomph to her damage there. She's not going to have a very good time because what's going to happen is you're going to have no stamina to, to do her charge attacks. Her charge attacks are what you, you have to use her charge attacks to get the best damage out of her because from her charge attacks, she's going to apply a mark. So if we do a charge attack here, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. We'll do a charge attack here, boom. She's now been applied with a mark. Now this mark will tick over time and it can do crit, guys. It will crit. It will also do more damage, of course, if you have the Staff of Homer with the level 90 Staff of Homer, my ticking damage is 9k as opposed to 3k. Let's reapply the shield again, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Boom, and then I dash cancel to reset my charge attack, and then just like that, I'm already out of charge attacks, and now I have to go to normal attacks, which is just miserable. The other alternative that you can do is going to be jump cancels. Now, jump cancels are a lot more difficult to do than dash cancels because they're way, way, way less intuitive. And this is why I'm always bragging, I'm not bragging, I'm going on and on and on and on and on about having application. You cannot mathematically formulate application and play style. So for example, if you don't know how to dash cancel like that, you see here, I'm dash, I'm not dash cancel, sorry, jump cancel. If you don't know how to jump cancel, you're not going to have the stamina that you really need to rock up with Hu Tao. And that's going to be miserable. And I'm not very good at jump cancelling there. What you saw there was not a good example of jump cancelling. I'm not doing it efficiently, efficiently because I'm not going in the right direction. And the reason why is because for me, it's just not intuitive to jump all over the place like that and use my jump key that much. I just like to dash when I cancel my animations. So play style wise, this is very important. If you like to dash to cancel your combo or reset your combo, then you really do want to have Constellation 1 on Hu Tao. If you play with jump cancels for your animation cancelling, then you're good to go. You don't really need Constellation 1. But for me, I don't play any of my characters with jump cancels. And I always forget to do that, even though it's more efficient than dash cancelling. I'm just so ingrained in that game set and that play style already 
that it's not something I could really fix and it's not something I really want to go out of my way to fix just for Hu Tao. Now, otherwise, as you saw there, the non-reaction damage from Hu Tao with a free-to-play spear, it's okay. It's not the best thing in the world. It's also worth noting that I do have Pyro Resonance as well, which is something that I didn't have on Shao in my showcases before. If we take a look at this here, we have the new shield bonus as well. So if we take a look at this, you know, she can do around 9,900 damage there. That's pretty solid, right? That's not bad at all. But it's obviously not like Ganyu who can do 30k with an F2P weapon. Or it's not like Shao who can do like 25k with a prototype Star Glitter using his elemental skills. So it's not anywhere near as big as that. But the big thing with Hu Ta, as you guys know, is that she can very, very, very easily do reaction damage with a lot of people. Namely Sing Chu. 15.7k with a dash is very solid. But just like that, I'm already just like that already out of my charge and out of my stamina really which is quite annoying so this is why i would love i would love to personally have c1 Hu Tao for my specific play style i definitely need c1 because i don't want to learn jump cancelling of course it is the most efficient way to do it if you want to preserve your stamina and preserve your bank account balance it's a good way to go about it the next thing i want to showcase to you guys here is going to be Sing Chu. Now, Sing Chu, I can't remember because this is like my 400th take of this video. I'm very, very stressed right now. It is what it is. With Sing Chu, you don't have to have him properly built up. But what a lot of content creators will not tell you is that their Sing Chu probably has a refinement rank 5 sacrificial sword, meaning getting up his ultimate is really, really easy for them. On top of that, if you do want to build him, you need to build him with a lot, and I mean a lot of energy recharge, because Sing Chu using his elemental skill, this is 184% energy recharge by the way, which is still not enough, you want to have over 200%. I'm going to show you here that Sing Chu, a lot of people won't even show this to you guys because realistically, the application is not as good as people think it is. So if we do this, and I'm going to go ahead, hopefully I get the sacrificial proc. Yes, I don't. But the vaporized damage, you have to wait a little tick to actually apply it. And the problem here is that... Oh, danger. The problem here is that the ticking damage from the Blossom can really mess you up with the Sing Chu application of his Hydro. So we did get a prop there. Let's use his ultimate. Oh, okay. Ultimate here. Excellent. Right. Now we can do this. So if we do this, he is permanently vaporized, guys. You can see he is permanently applied with Hydro, which is going to be great. So with the ultimate, as Hu Tao dies there, that's why you want Zhong Li. With the ultimate of Sing Chu, the Vaporize is basically non-stop. It's super because every time you attack, every time you do a charge attack, what's going to happen is you need to literally, with a charge attack, it's impossible to instantly start with a charge attack, right? So you always end up striking the enemy once and that will apply them with Hydra and then you dash through them and that's going to Vaporize, which is super, super, super useful. It's very convenient. But when you're only using Sing Chu's elemental skill, depending on when the Blossom ticks, you might actually lose your Vaporize, and then you're just going to consistently apply Pyro on him, and then Sing Chu's going to be the one that procs the Vaporize, and if your Sing Chu is not built, it's going to Vaporize for Peanuts. So that's something in the importance of application, is of course, if you're not playing it mechanically to a T, and you're not playing 100% perfect, you're going to have a little bit of pitfalls here and there. So please do keep that in mind as well. Chongyun and any other reaction, Mona is also the same thing. You always have to time these things to perfection if you want to get as mathematically optimal as possible. So let's move on, and I let, I'm going to show you guys Hu Tao with not... Vaporize, because I'm sure you guys have seen it over and over again. But Hu Tao with a C6 Fischl. Now, this is going to be permanent overloaded. And this is not going to be charged attack playstyle. Charge attack playstyle is literally just spamming charge attack and trying to go zoom, zoom, zoom all the time. Which, of course, not everyone wants to do, nor do people really want to do that all the time. So let's put the shield on. We're going to switch to this. Let's drop the Fischl Bird. C6 Fischl is consistently going to allow you to do Overload it. Look how fast we are ruining this shot. We are literally decimating him. He just got decimated. Right. I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to wait for my Fischl's cooldown to come up again. In fact, we can just use the ultimate to apply this. Right. We'll apply that. And then we go back into this. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. We are again decimating. Overloaded does some explosion damage. Allows for very easy staggers as well. And then boom. That is C6 Fischl with a C0 Hu Tao. I know what's very popular is using Tartalia with C6 Fischl and Beidou. 
I think this is going to work amazingly on Hu Tao as well. So, so that's something I really love is really fast attack speed. Oh, he's going to go zoomies. Okay, you know what? Let me reapply the shield here. Let me reapply Zhongli's shield here. Right, we'll put the official bird down. Boom. And then look at this. We're shredding him. We're absolutely ruining him. This is using a garbage weapon as well. Kaboom. No crit there. We're absolutely decimating him. Overloaded is so, so, so underrated when it comes to the C6 official build. We didn't one-phase him. I know, guys. I know. I'm a bit of a fraud here. I probably should have put down the Traveler's Ultimate. But there you go. He's dead now. So... I would say that's with the prototype grudge as well. Prototype star glitter. Why did they change the name, guys? Why did they change it from the prototype grudge to the prototype star glitter? That is with the F2P weapon. All right, do keep that in mind. If I had the staff of Homer, let's, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it with the staff of Homer and see how much faster this is. Because the staff of Homer is disgusting. I don't think I gave you a justified reason of why it's so good. I haven't really shown you guys how powerful the staff of Homer can be. So what you just saw there was a full-on F2P Hu Tao. Level 90, prototype star glitter, with these artifacts, Crimson Witch of Flames, Constellation Zero, talent level 666. Now if we put on the staff of Homer, level 90, how big and bad is this going to get? Okay, that's a lot of crit damage. That's a lot of crit damage. So I'm assuming this is going to be a decimation. We are probably going to violate child here. And that sounds weird. I'm not violating any children, guys. Okay, don't get it twisted. Right, we'll put this down. We will go closer to him. Okay, boom, boom. Oh my, just look at it. Look at that. Look at that. This is normal attack. We're not even playing charge attack, guys. This is a normal attack we're playing with here. Right, I'm going to wait for Fischl's cooldown to come up again because she's not ready. Unless, unless, she's ready! She's ready. Okay, we can do this again. Excellent stuff. Right, we're going to wait for Char to finish his zoomies. We'll do that. We'll put that down. We'll, we'll wait for the bird to come up. Bird, come up. Bird, come up. He did overload it on me. Let me do overload it on you instead. Boom. Even with the charge attacks, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> So, let's see final phase. How quick is this going to go down? Last time, we weren't able to one phase within the elemental skill of Hu Tao. Okay, child. Take your time. Alright, you done, child? You done? Okay, here we go. Ultimate. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Right, there's some much bigger damage here. Kaboom. And there we go. That is C6 Fischl. With Hu Tao. So if you have C6 Fischl, congratulations. Every single normal attack you do with C6 Fischl, Oz will pew, 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 pew with you. But the main thing here, guys, is not even the C6. It's just Fischl's normal talent. If we take a look at this one, Stellar, not Stellar Predator, Undone. Be thy sinful hex. If your current active character triggers an electro-related elemental reaction when Oz is on the field, the opponent shall be stricken with thundering retribution, dealing electro damage equal to 80% of Fischl's attack. And that is all that overloaded damage. And of course, when you have the Crimson Witch of Flames, this is a very, very nice combination. It's a combination I feel like a lot of people have been sleeping on because they just want to see the big damage numbers with Vaporize. But if we're talking DPS overloaded with the official it's very fun and it's not bad at all so that's something i do think people should open their eyes up to and the importance of application really does speak volumes when it comes to hu tao so with hu tao again if you're f2p it's gonna feel bad compared to having you know someone who has a c1 hu tao and a staff of homer the difference between a c1 hu tao and a staff of homer hu tao versus a prototype star glitter homer it's very big, guys. It's unfortunately very big, but that's what you get for pay to win. You essentially save time and you do bigger PP damage numbers. So that is my first impressions. I will have a proper, proper, proper showcase video, or rather a proper build video showcasing the Noblesse set, the Noblesse with Crimson Witch, the Lava Walker, and the Crimson Witch of Flames, and very importantly, the Belide. Retracing Belide is something I really want to talk about as well, and that will be in a very long video. That video, guys, if I'm being honest, is probably going to be over 40 minutes long, because there's so many different sets, there's so many different weapons that she could be using. So yes, that is it from me, guys. The video is kind of all over the place, but that's generally how my first impression videos go goes. 
They will be more sophisticated in the Bible video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and have a wonderful, wonderful day, and bye bye